Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. And please do check the description box below. Everything you need to know about me and readings, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, everything you need to know is down there. Lots and lots of information, so please do go take the time to check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me, and this is a little channel, so hopefully we can um, grow it into something big and beautiful with all your help and support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. All right. Aquarius, can you believe we're going into September, or we are in September, depending on when you see this already. Where is time going? It'll be Christmas before you know it. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Aquarius, love connection. This can be any type of connection with anybody you have in mind. So whoever you're thinking of right now in any kind of connection, if you click down the link, then obviously there's probably something in here for you if the title resonated for you. All right, so let's see. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. See what kind of energy is around you for the first half of September. Spirit, please, for Aquarius, love connection reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So what may some Aquarians be dealing with or energy around them the first half of September spirit please can we have one thank you and usually when I ask for one I get one one and we have Pisces so some Aquarians may be dealing with a Pisces air and water or they could have Pisces in their in their chart somewhere if it's not their Sun sign it could be uh, their moon sign their uh, Venus sign or their rising sign, if you know their chart. If not, that's totally fine. The rest of the message may be for you, or parts of it may be. So let's see, with this deck here, it's a lover's oracle. All the decks have been pre-shuffle, cut, meditate on off camera. So let's see, with this deck here, it's a lover's oracle. We will get an overall love energy, wow, for you for the month. Uh, well, not the month, the first half of September, and I feel like this is your card right here. And I don't ever remember getting this one before. I don't know. We'll see what this is. Only time will tell. Yep. Only time will tell. Hmm. What's going on? Is there a glare? Sorry about the glare. It's the way the sun is shining. Um, okay, so... <sighs> I can move the camera, but I really don't want to do that. So, okay, let's get one card now for how you are feeling, Aquarius. How are you feeling, Aquarius, about this connection? Maybe if I move like this, is that better? Okay. How are you feeling about this connection in your person? And then how is your person feeling about you in this connection? How is Aquarius's person feeling about them? Okay, so how you are feeling about your person and this connection. We have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right, so I don't know what's going on here. Did something, may, I'm getting, maybe something happened between the two of you. Maybe there was a riff or a little argument or something. And are you both wondering what's going to happen and saying only time will tell? I don't know. So your person is saying playfulness, that is the back. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So they just want to take a more uh, lightful approach with you for some reason. A lighter approach here. And... I don't know, maybe something happened between the two of you. We'll see when we get into the tarot and underneath the deck. 
We have this card here and it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay, so I feel like this is saying in the bottom of the deck energy, this connection here has a possibility to go deeper, to be maybe more committed or something here. And you're thinking about it and you're thinking about the choices you have. You're thinking about whether or not you want to commit to them. The energies can be vice versa here, but they are in a like a more light, playful energy here. And it's saying only time will tell. So it's up to the two of you what you want out of this connection. You can transform it into something committed or not. Or you can keep it light. Maybe they're in and out energy with this playfulness. Maybe, you know, they come in and have some fun and then they leave. And you're trying to decide whether or not you want to keep it in that energy or you want something more serious. But it does have the possibility here with transformation underneath. So I don't know. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. All right, so let's clarify for you, Aquarius, why you have this energy about decisions. All right, and let's get one for your person. Why are they in this playful energy for Aquarius's person, spirit, please? Thank you so much. Let me clarify. Oh, it's way too many. And just one for Aquarius's person. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Just one. And I think I'm going to take the top. Okay. So, why are you in this energy, Aquarius? So we have the Prince of Cups. So this is water energy, and that's their energy. So the Prince of Cups is the Knight of Cups, and this is somebody who comes forward with actions of uh, words of endearment, takes that action, showing love, giving love, expressing love, and taking that movement forward. So I feel like you definitely want them to hear, come to come forward and express and take that action and initiative to come forward and express to you how they truly feel, what they truly want out of you in this relationship. You definitely have them in your heart and mind here with the Prince of Cups is that water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So let's see why they have playfulness here. So we have the Princess of Cups. Wow, we have the Prince and the Princess is the Page of Cups. So this is the actual offer. This is the communication. The, pr pr the Prince, which is the Knight. Sorry, I don't know, I'll just stutter there for a minute. <laughs> the Prince is the Knight actually takes the action and comes forward with the messages. And now here are the messages. So <laughs> they actually do want to express to you how they truly feel about you, their emotions, their feelings. You want them to come forward and you also probably want to take that action towards them and tell them how you feel, tell them what you want and they're wanting to express that also. So you're both in the same energy. Wow. All right, so do I decide whether I want to shuffle now or take the top three cards? Let's see what Spirit wants me to do. They tell me to take the top three cards, okay. So let's see what your situation is. So we have the Hermit, and we have, ooh, the Three of Swords, yeah, 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 and the Five of Cups, wow. All right, so the Hermit here is Virgo, the Three of Swords is your energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Five of Cups energy again with the Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is for your actual situation. The Hermit here, is Virgo, but it doesn't have to be, but that's the energy and it's connected to you of being withdrawn, of going within, spending time alone, thinking, reflecting, uh, doing your inner journey work, really thinking, contemplating, what do you really want? So I think, you know, you want this person to come forward here. You're wanting that and they're wanting to also express to you, but you're withdrawn, I feel, for some reason from them. Though deep down you want this, you're withdrawn from them and trying to figure things out. And then connected to them is the Five of Cups. So this is sorrow, loss, loss and heartbreak, uh, sadness. 
I think, no, they definitely would, would feel sad if they lost you because, you know, they're concentrating on the cups spilt here, but there's two cups behind them right here, which are the two cups of the soulmates. So they're not seeing that though. So they're unsure here about what's going to happen here. And um, they're feeling sad and lonely for some reason. But between you are the three of swords. This is your energy, your energy. This is betrayal, heartbreak, uh, pain. This usually indicates third party. So I'm not picking up third party yet because we have the same energy here. So it could be that because we do have transformation there. So maybe either you or them are just getting out of a situation right now. Maybe it's them because they do have the five of cups. So whatever they've been through, if they're going through a divorce or a breakup here, you know, maybe they're still hurting a little bit over that, but they still have the connection to you over here. And they definitely do want to, you know, express to you how they feel. I think they do have love and emotions for you and you do them. You are both in the same energy, but I think maybe you know they have to release and come out of this third party energy and totally leave it behind because maybe you just did have an encounter. That's why you have playful this playfulness there. And maybe you didn't know what their true intentions were. You know, did they just want to have a fling and that was it? Or is this something more? I do think it's something more, but maybe they have to totally release, let go and transform whatever situation they're in. And I think you are withdrawn because you know that you don't want to be involved in a third party. And here is the heartbreak, the pain of being without each other because of this third party situation. Oh boy, Aquarius. All right. Let's get more clarification here um, before we go on further. So you have the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify that. So we have the Empress. So this is Libra Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. So this is, you know, you know your value, your worth. You are an Empress. You're the mother of the deck. You embody all the energies of all the queens. Passion, determination, love and emotions, compassion, truth and clarity, and clear communication and stability. And this is the growth of something new. Um here with the Empress energy indicates a new beginning and the growth of something new, being stable, secure, grounding and knowing, grounded and knowing your worth. And that's probably why you're in the hermit mode because you know what you're worth, you know your value and you don't want to be a third party here. I don't think they want you as a third party and you don't, you definitely don't want to be a third party either. But the separation apart here, and that's the hermit energy, you know, it's being separated from each other, feeling that hurt and loss because of third party, whether it's you or them, but knowing the worth here and knowing you deserve better than that. But definitely being in the same energy here of wanting to share and communicate uh, love and emotions and taking that action fo movement forward with each other. Okay, for them, let's see, the devil, wow. Capricorn energy. So I definitely feel like here they're in a toxic situation right now. They're trying to get out of with the five cups here. I definitely feel like here uh, they're trying to, this is on their side, definitely trying to leave whatever toxic situation they're in. It's no longer serving them. Okay. So for your actual situation, let's get more clarity on that. The hangman, exactly. The hermit and the hangman, and this is Cancer Pisces. So you are definitely here being withdrawn from them. Things are on a pause, on a standstill because of their situation over here. Nothing's moving right now. Hangman, again, seeing the perspective from all angles and really thinking about things and just taking, a back, taking it back right now and hanging back and uh, just going with the flow kind of energy. Okay, let's see over here now. The Eight of Cups. Wow. Yep. And I just said they are leaving, and this is their energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, leaving, walking away from a toxic situation that is no longer serving them. 
Yep. Yep. And I had just said that, so thank you, Spirit, for confirming that. Okay, so Aquarius, let's see what your advice is now in this situation. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Clarifying the Empress. And the Empress, this is the minor of the Empress card and the High Priestess. Wow. So Cancer Pisces again. So you definitely have a connection here. Some of you to a Cancer or a Pisces or a water sign. And if not, um, it doesn't matter. It's just energy. Whoever you're connecting with, you're definitely in the same energy of sharing love, emotions, and feelings, and you want to be together. But right now, you or the other person has to walk away and totally leave behind this toxic situation that's no longer serving them. But your advice, uh, Aquarius, the Nine of Pentacles, this is, you know, remain grounded, uh, remain balanced, uh, know your worth, know your value, uh, be stable, be grounded, and act with integrity here. And the High Priestess, I mean, you may know, you know, this is, you know, knowing it all, knowing the secrets, being intuitive, following your gut, having that higher knowing, being divinely connected in some way. And you probably know, you know, this is your soulmate here, but this is a single energy. So you know they have to be single and maybe you're single, but you know your value and worth. And this is, again, the high priestess. It has that divine connection, but keeps to themselves. So this is, you know, you need to keep in your single independent energy and you need to keep to yourself here until they leave their situation, figure this shit out and are totally single, available, clean slate, ready to come to you with no um, ties. That's what I'm getting. Wow. So let's get more clarification on that for you. So the Hierophant, exactly. So this is Taurus energy, but doesn't have to be. So again, you know they're, they, they could be married, but again, here's the commitment card. This is the faith, the spirituality. This is doing what's moral, just, and right acting with integrity. So again, here's the integrity coming into play, doing what's moral, just, and right. You know this is the right thing to do, is to leave it until they're ready to leave what they're leaving behind. It's totally behind them, and then they can, can come forward to you, and there may be commitment for the two of you in the future. So let's get more for them, the Four of Swords, right? So this is healing. So, you know, they're leaving this situation. You know, there probably was a lot of hurt involved or whatever here, but this is an energy of retreating and um, spending time alone, con thinking, contemplating, healing, retreating, rejuvenating. So they, you know, as they leave this situation over here, and this is your energy with the air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, you know, they may have to take some time alone to heal and mend and um, think and contemplate before they can come forward to you. I'm getting like a rest period, like what is the right amount of time after my separation, divorce or whatever before starting this new relationship so people don't think that you just jumped in too quick or they jumped in too quick, they didn't take the, might, might, the right amount of time to um, heal themselves. Like they don't want people to think it's just a rebound. So I think they're gonna take time alone just for, you know, show everybody that they took some time alone before jumping into something new is kind of what I'm getting to, along with the healing and mending and recuperating and rejuvenating energy also. And this could be your energy too of spending time alone and really thinking about this whole situation also. So let's get a possible outcome for you now, Aquarius, in this situation. Death. Okay, Scorpio energy here. So this is ending always. Ending, I don't think, I mean, it could be you decide to end this connection altogether with the death card here. However this plays out for you, however this resonates for you, but I'm getting a couple different scenarios here. So either Aquarius, you're going to decide after thinking long and hard, that the right thing to do is to just end this connection altogether and that's just it. Or this is the ending of this in and out energy 
or the end of their uh, ways, their um, situation. And now the death is like a rebirth. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. Something new comes in after something ends. So this could just be the ending of their situation. And now there's a rebirth and a starting anew with you. And you're waiting for them to end their situation to start anew with you. Or you're just going to end this connection completely. So however that resonates for you. So let's get some clarity on that. So we have the Queen of Wands here. So now, I think this is the first queen we have. So if they're not in a water sign, they could be a fire or have fire in their chart. Or this could be the other person that, they're, that you know uh, they're tied to right now. It's a fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So Queen of Wands, somebody very passionate, go-getter, ambitious, driven. Um, it's usually an entrepreneur, business owner, that kind of nature very uh, fiery personality all right the eight of pentacles so this is putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work this earth energy now virgo taurus capricorn so i think they're really working hard over here to leave this situation they're focused on their work their stability they want to make sure that they're going to be fine on their own um that they um are you know financially set but they're putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work here to become detached from this situation here. But again, I think with the outcome here with death, it, some of you I think will just end it all together or you're waiting for them to end a situation so you, you can come together. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the two of cups. So, yep, this is a soulmate energy. Two people coming together as one, coming into union. Water energy here. So, yep, I mean, bottom. So some of you, I feel, will wait for them to end their situation here so there can be a new start, a fresh start, with the two of you come together, coming together as one in a soulmate union. See, I got two stories here. Some of you are going to wait for them to end their situation and come into union. Some of you with the Ten of Swords here are just going to end it all together. This is an ending. Tens are an ending. So some of you are going to just end this connection all together and walk away from it, I feel. And some of you are going to wait for them to end what they're going through so you can be together. So however this resonates for you. Whichever way you decide, whichever way you go, and I feel only time will tell here, whatever you decide to do, you will be going into a uh, better place. Um, if you wait for them, I feel like things will go in a good situation, in a good place, leaving behind all the garbage, no longer serving either one of you, and moving together into a new place of peace, harmony, balance, calmer waters, and leaving all the bullshit behind. And that's the air energy, your energy. And that's your energy too with the air. And this is them with the water. And then we have temperance. So this is Sagittarius. So this is balancing out the energies. Peace, harmony, balance, patience, having patience in the situation. And this is the angel that brings the two soulmates together. And it's divinely guided. So this can be a soulmate union if you choose to wait for them, Aquarius. So it's up to you. Only time will tell. You can end it and move on. Or you can wait for them to end their situation here with the Ten of Swords and then move on together and come into soulmate union. So, I don't know, it's up to you, Aquarius. I'm just getting what Spirit's telling me, so this may be um, messages for different people. So you do what you feel is best for you. If you feel, no matter, you know, if this is a toxic situation between the two of you, and you feel the best thing is to end it and move on, then this is probably telling you that's probably the best thing for you to do. Or if you know your soulmate, you are soulmates and you want to come into union together and you're both on the same page and you're waiting for them to leave a toxic situation so you can be together, then you do what your heart tells you to do. So a couple different messages there depending on your situation. Okay. All right. 
So usually I get like one clear cut message, but this time it's given me a couple different scenarios. So you take it how it resonates for you. As I'm reading for the general collective, thousands of people, I'll get different energies. If you want a more accurate reading or more uh, details, you would need a private reading for that. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what we have. Divine Feminine. So again, because you came out as the Empress over here, so you indeed are a Divine Feminine. And you know your value, your worth, you're divinely connected here. Yep, Divine Feminine. Yep, you are that Empress energy, that Empress power. You know your value, your worth, just strong, stable, sturdy, and grounded. You're very passionate go-getter. This could be just your energy also with the Queen of Wands, since you did come out as Divine Feminine, which is the Empress, which you embody all the queens of the deck. <clears throat> wow. Healing. So, yep. So we have 31 here, which is four, which is about stability. And then we have healing here, which is five, which is about change. So if you leave, decide to leave this connection behind, it may be very hurtful, so you may need healing. Or this is your person needing a time of healing before they can come forward to you. And maybe you both can heal one another, be, be very healing towards one another. And then just drop one on the floor. And we have grounding, which is number six. So six, again, is a very healing, balancing number. So this is, you know, being grounded. And grounding, uh, if you don't know what grounding is, usually go outside in nature, barefoot if you can. You know, let your feet absorb the, the uh, grounding energy of the earth. Or, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then I would say, you know, I don't know, go hug a tree, put your hands on the ground, on a tree, uh, sit in the grass. You know, your skin has to touch uh, the ground in some way and just kind of sit there and relax and take in the energy of Mother Nature, Mother Earth, you know, the air, the atmosphere. So some of you may need to ground each other and maybe the two of you will ground each other also in some way. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Soul mating. So I definitely had that energy here, uh, 34, which is seven, which is a divine number. Seven is a divine number and you are a divine feminine over here. I do feel like this is a divine soulmate connection for some of you with the soulmating here. But like I said, for some of you, uh, you're either just going to walk away and leave it or some of you are going to wait and then come into union with your soulmate and only time will tell. Aquarius, okay. Um, if this resonated for you, Aquarius, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And when you hit the bell now, they give you three options. So if you want to see all my notifications, I think you have to hit the first one, which is like all notifications, I think. Um, that's something new. I just discovered that the other day. If you find this didn't resonate for you, you can uh, go into the description box, find Aquarius playlist, and maybe something from the past will resonate for you. I say disregard all the dates, as I do consider them all timeless. Um, the dates are just there for an order of when I release them, so people know like what's the newer ones, what's the older ones, you know. So maybe something there will resonate for you. If this didn't, um, good luck to you here in your love connection, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.